Hey, Solovar. How's it going, old buddy? Not well, old friend. Grodd is free again. He's rebuilt his mind control helmet and taken over almost every gorilla in the city. That's going to present a problem. I can cast a spell to protect the four of us from his mind control. And this protects me, but nothing can protect the world from the earthquake machine he's built. Using the rotating magnetic core of the Earth as a lens, Grodd can create earthquakes anywhere on Earth. As you no doubt have noticed, he has already begun. Did we find him and shut him down? It is a two-front war, Green Lantern. Grodd is in the palace, west of here. Let me guess. The earthquake machine is to the east. Protected by a force field, keyed to Grodd's mind control helmet. So we won't be able to destroy the machine until Grodd is defeated. <laughs> too little, too late, Justice Leaguers. In a matter of moments, my revenge on Gorilla City will be complete. These fools who refuse to live under my rule die at my hands. Sorry to butt in, but it looked like you could use a hand. You'll get no complaints from me. Where's Jean? There's been a security breach at the Watchtower. He'll join us as soon as he can. Let's knock these things out of the sky. You took the words right out of my mouth. Hang on, it's Jean. Attention all personnel. I'm back at the Watchtower, and our defenses have been breached. Internal senses are offline. I'll investigate it. John? <laughs> We've been cut off. We've got to go back and help him. First, we take out the last mothership. Then Hera help whoever hurt John. This isn't the Watchtower. No, it isn't. It's an emergency bunker 12 miles away. Part of my contingency plans. Which you were going to tell us about when? When necessary. Save the argument for later, boys. The Watchtower's been invaded by person or persons unknown. Obviously, Brainiac's been manufacturing all these disasters to draw us away from our headquarters. We gotta get in there and rescue Jean. That's the plan. Split up into three teams. First team takes out the Watchtower's defense system. Second team goes after whoever took it over. Third team rescues Jean. You heard the man. Let's move. Yet another Doomsday clone? Obviously, Brainiac made these flawed copies from the genetic material he stole from Star Labs. I wish his larger plan was as obvious. Yeah. Why bother attacking the Watchtower? I suspect it wasn't so much an attack as a robbery. You are correct. He's stolen a mother box. Who's a what? A powerful mini-computer so intelligent it's almost alive. I don't know if even Brainiac's smart enough to completely reprogram one, though. Indeed. It appears to have left us a clue to its whereabouts. It had to follow Brainiac's commands, but it deliberately leaked an easily traceable energy signature. Why? Because it's afraid of what Brainiac intends to use it for. Found it! Brainiac teleported himself here. Love what he's done with the place. Sorry. Brainiac's here. But I can't pinpoint his position. Same with my ring. Too much EM interference. So we'll split up and search the place in teams. Be careful. I'm getting bad vibes off this place. Needed magic to figure that out, did you? Stay alert. Our comlinks aren't gonna have much range down here. Whichever of us finds Brainiac will likely be on their own. 
Hurry, Brainiac. I'm working as quickly as I can. I've done everything you asked at the greatest risk imaginable. For a reward greater than anyone could imagine? Yes. You promised me power and knowledge. And I will deliver. You are about to unleash power beyond belief. And learn secrets, perhaps, better left hidden. <laughs> safe here behind an impenetrable energy field. You cannot even touch me, Justice League. But my robot hordes can most assuredly touch you. You've come closer to stopping me than I ever dreamed possible. Close, but oh so far. In moments, my plan comes to sweet fruition. I unleash upon the world power and knowledge supreme. Only you two stand between me and my glorious reward. And all I need do is crush you where you stand. At a cavalry charge, late as usual. Nevertheless, Brainiac is beaten. We've won. Not until we've shut his machine down. If I'm right, he was about to... Look out! <laughs> What's happening? Yes! The power! The incredible power! It's coming back to life. No, it's much worse than that. I am reborn! Wait for it. What's happening to me? What's... Jack is no more. Tremble before the power of... Dark Side! Greetings, Superman. You tricked Brainiac into freeing you from your extra-dimensional prison. I promised him he would unleash power beyond imagining. I fulfilled our bargain to the letter. Yeah, and he was also promised great knowledge. And I delivered. What higher lesson is there than this? Never trust. Dark side. Get off my planet, monster! Normally a threat from you is worth considering. But with both a mother box and a sensory matrix field generator at my command, I rather think you should get off my planet. I will transform this world into a new apocalypse. Not hell on Earth. Something far, far worse. I was exiled to another dimension. I sentence you to the same fate, courtesy of the dimension spanning powers of the Mother Box and the unparalleled might of my Omega Beams. Goodbye, Justice League. What did you do? Do not concern yourself with what I have done. Oh, rather tremble at the thought of what I am about to do. <laughs> you all right? Considering I just got vaporized? Yeah. We've been transported to another dimension. Maybe your magic powers... Hello, host! Sandra! Sorry, Batman, I got Jack. No, wait. The spell is revealing something. Maybe a gateway home? Over there. Could be a problem. <laughs> Nice. 
It's a start. Are you all right? <laughs> Just fine, thanks. So, we're not dead. I think we have a secret benefactor. I'd ask you what you mean, but we're probably too busy to talk right now. I'll fill you in after. Let me guess. It's the way home? And it practically comes with an instruction book. Not surprising. We were sent here on purpose. The mother box? Darkseid thought he vaporized us. But the mother box tricked him and sent us here instead. It must have had a reason. It wants us to come back and stop Darkseid. Why else provide us with the ride home? No. There's something more we're supposed to do here. Well, the portal's working. As soon as we find the others, we can go. They'll find their own way. Give them some time. It's better if we return in force. Five minutes, then we go. Hold up. I might have a better idea. Where are we? A parallel dimension, and a strange one, too. My ring's acting funny. Almost like it's trying to absorb ambient... John. What do you suppose they mean? Us deceased, I would conjecture. Then I can't help them. We're in trouble. Who told you? Hi guys, need a lift? Can I drive or what? How? The mother box was behind everything. Darkseid thought the mother box was under his control. It wasn't. Not entirely. It zapped us away so Darkseid would think we were dead. To a place with a fully functional teleporter system. Zatanna figured out how to use it to find you and to return us all home. Aw, oh, shucks. Where's Superman? Darkseid kept him. Probably to torture him by showing him this. That's not going to stand. Yeah. What's to stop tall, dark, and gruesome from just nailing us with his Omega beams again? I think I know the answer to that. The rest of the Mother Box's plan. It made a point of sending us to a dimension filled with a strange radiation. My ring soaked up tons of the stuff. I think I know what it's for. This should protect us from the Omega beams. At least for a while. That evens the odds considerably. It's time to get serious. Ready. Cool. Let's go save the world. First we find Superman. Three-pronged attack, split up into teams. Thanks for the rescue. Kryptonite, sapping my powers. Not a problem. If pressed, I can also pull a rabbit out of my hat. I know where to find Darkseid's throne room. Let's go. First things first. What? Protection from Darkseid's Omega Beams. Good. Then I can handle the rest myself. Clark, wait. What's he thinking? He's not thinking. Darkseid embarrassed him. He's going to try to fight him alone. No, he's not. Superman's got a plan. Follow as best you can. Several sets of doors, each two feet thick, and made of pure osmium. The densest metal on Earth. The rest of the League will be here any second. You need to tell me how you plan to get them open. Pretty simple, actually. I'm going to knock. <laughs> Superman, I can't cover for you like this much longer. <laughs> Not to worry, Princess. We got your back. We need to regroup, Superman. We'll do it ourselves. Let him keep working. Some of us should establish a perimeter and protect his flank from the parademons. The rest should go with him. Yeah, just in case he actually manages to get in there. You ready to talk to us again? Sure. 
If by talk you mean kicking Darkseid's ass into low orbit, then I think we can do business. What's the plan? We attack in waves, minimize the chance of us all being defeated at once. Once we're committed, we don't stop until it's over. One way or the other. Only one way. Darkseid's going down. The Justice League. Alive. And you would dare to approach me in my own chambers. I don't know how you maggots survived my last attack. But rest assured, I won't make the same mistake twice. I won't be defeated. There's still a chance. You'll have to be a lot faster than that. Flash. Among others. This isn't over. You can't control me. You can't destroy me. And there's no prison in the universe that can hold me. I don't believe you're telling me the truth. You know the power of my magic lasso. No one bound by it can tell a lie. If I were free, I'd tear you limb from limb. I believe him. How can you be defeated? Only within the Apocalypse Hypercube. You mean this? Good to know. If you want that lasso, I'd get it off of him. I'll see to it that no one will ever get their hands on this again. Can the damage Darkseid did to Earth be reversed? So, you know, do it. Think you'll ever escape again? Doesn't matter. We're here. <laughs>